All right, so I've got all my various shapes in now, and I need to try doing some stuff with movement. I'm just going to start with the, well, let's start with the line. So the idea with this is I need to go through every one of my moving blocks and check to see if they move, are they going to hit something. Now, if any one of them hits a wall or later on a solid block, I need them to, well, when moving left or right, I need them to not move. And if they're moving down, they need to change to solid blocks, and we need to create a new shape. So yeah, I need some sort of controls for left and right. So I think I'm going to create another object, which I'm going to call the controller. This guy's going to deal with timing and with movement. So in particular, what I want to do is I want this guy to check the left arrow key, and if the left arrow key is pressed, key press left, I'm going to run a, another script, which I'm going to call move left. So let me create that script real quick. Move le left. And all this guy's going to do is say, hey, move left. I'm going to take the uh, collision detection and put that into the script itself. So I'm not going to have to worry about that in here. The last thing I'd like to do is set up, when he's all done with creating a shape, he's going to create one of these controllers. And I don't care where. So inside of setup, he's going to, right after he creates a shape, create one of these controller objects. That way I don't have to keep placing a whole bunch of different objects into the room. I can just have one create anything that needs to be in there. All right, so what happens now with moving left? Well, what I need to do is I need to go through each of my move blocks and check if I move 32 to the left, do I hit a solid? If any of them do hit a solid, then it just doesn't move. If none of them hit a solid, then I need to actually move them all left, 32. Um, move left. So I have this empty script. So the general idea is I need to go through each move block. It turns out that's probably a with statement. What that's going to do is it's going to go through each move block, and I need to check to see if it collides with a solid. And because I'm checking solids, and wall is a child of solid, I'm also checking for walls. All right, so how do I check for a collision in code? Well, let's go look. Hmm, place free. Returns whether an instance is collision free. That's not quite what I want, because a move block is allowed to check to move over a move block, and that's fine. Place meeting. Returns whether the instance placed at position XY meets that particular object. I like that. So that's going to return true if it does hit something and false otherwise. It can also be an instance ID. All right, that looks like that's what I want. So place meeting takes an X, a Y, and an object. So I need some way of checking to see if I'm going to collide with something. So I'm going to create a temporary variable here called collide. Now there's a technical detail I need to know about with blocks. Once you get inside of a with block, if I want to talk about this variable collide up here, I'm actually going to say other.collide. So the details of it are that whatever used to be self, so technically collide is self.collide. I just didn't put that in because you don't need to. When you go inside of a with block, it becomes the self becomes the other thing. So I say other.collide if I want to refer to this variable. The reason why is because each move block becomes self. So self and other kind of switch places. The long and short of that is, 
I'm going to use place meeting, check to see if I collide with a solid, and set other dot collide to true if I am. So I'm checking my x, so I can say self.x if I want, and it's referring to this move block. It's not absolutely necessary, though. So I'm going to check x, let's see, to the left, one block is minus 32. My y position is not changing, so I'm just going to check y. And I'm going to check against solid underscore o. Make sure it's the name of your object, not the variable solid. So if I did hit something, that means I collided with something. And I'm going to set that variable collide. So this magical loop, what it's doing is it's saying, go through each of the move objects, all four of them, so all four parts of the line. If you go left, 32 pixels, so one block's worth to the left, and you hit a solid, so that means you place meeting becomes true, then hey, you collided with something. If, if you didn't, it doesn't really matter to me. So check each move block for a collision. If there was no collision, move each block. So once I'm all done with that, collide is either going to be true or false. If collide is still false, which means I didn't hit anything, I'm allowed to move all of the shapes. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use another width block for each of the moving things. Doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent. So with each of the moving blocks, now I'm actually going to say x equals x minus 32 and actually move them all. I could put an else block on here, but if they're going to hit something, you're not going to move, so I don't actually need to do anything. I'm paranoid. I want to test this. Look at all this typing I did. Oh, beautiful. Make sure your braces match up. So this width block has an opening brace here, close brace here. The if opens here, closes there. This if block goes from here to here. This width block goes from here to here. So having a brace in the wrong spot will make your program not work, almost certainly. Turns out collide is just a temporary variable. I actually throw it away after this move left block. So if you get that, make sure you test it out and make sure it moves to the left and doesn't move through your wall. And if you get that working, try doing move right. It's almost the same thing. The only difference is you're adding 32 when you're checking it and adding 32 to the x position.